Welcome back everyone to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers and today is August 14th, 2024. And before we jump into things here, as per usual, I want to go over the affiliate links in my description. I do have a discount code for Dragon Shield as well as a discount code for Card Trader that you can use down below in the description. With that being said, here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason you guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis. So thank you all very much. With that being said, let's get moving. Starting our losers list off here today with Emrakul the World Anew, and this is the borderless version of the card from Modern Horizons 3. This mythic is down 5.88% from $37.40 to $35.20 for its market price, and its average price is $41.39. Swords to Plowshares from the Secret Layers series, down 5.98% from $61.17 to $57.51 for its market price, and its average price is $61. Flage Titan of Fire's Fury from Modern Horizons 3. This mythic is down 5.98% from $28.95 to $27.22 for its market price, and its average price is $29.90. Field of the Dead, and this is the special guest version of this land, down 7% today from $43.43 to $40.39 for its market price, and its average price is $44.98. Three Tree City, and this is the borderless winter version of this land, down 7% today from $56.17 to $52.23 for its market price, and its average price is $57.42. Thunderhawk Gunship from Universes Beyond Warhammer 40k. This artifact vehicle is down 7.62% from $15.22 to $14.06 for its market price, and its average price is $16.27. Molten Echoes from Commander Innistrad Crimson Vow. This enchantment is down 7.68% from $16.27 to $15.02 for its market price, and its average price is $15.90. Liliana of the Veil, vale, and this is the Modern Masters 2017 version of this Planeswalker, down 7.77% from $17.88 to $16.49 for its market price, and its average price is $19.34. Stoneforge Mystic from Double Masters. This rare is down 7.97% from $19.20 to $17.67 for its market price, and its average price is $19.55. Altair Ibn Lahad from Universes Beyond Assassin's Creed. This card is down 8.34% from $12.71 to $11.65 for its market price, and its average price is $12. Tim the Enchanter, which is also Prodigal Sorcerer from the Secret Layer series, down 8.52% from $15.72 to $14.38 for its market price, and its average price is $9. And our final loser on our list is Steam Vents from Guilds of Ravnica. The Shockland is down 9.75% from $14.87 to $13.42 for its market price, and its average price is $14.85. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with Hostile Investigator from Outlaws of Thunder Junction, the big score. This mythic is up 15.73% from $7.12 to $8.24 for its market price, and its average price is $8.18. The extended art copy is sitting at $8.37 for its market price, and its average price is $9.50. The showcase copy is sitting at $11.61 for its market price, and its average price is $13.49. This card is seeing a lot of standard play in decks like Orsoft Midrange, Golgari Midrange, as well as Rakdos Vampires. However, it's also being played in the Pioneer format, in Mono Black Discard, as well as Demir Control decks. The next winner on our list is a Legendary Land from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty, Ottawara Soaring City, and it's up 16% today from $18.13 to $21.03 for its market price, and its average price is $20.63 and the pre-release copy is sitting at $28.05 for its average price, the promo pack copy is sitting at $23.42 for its market price, and its average price is $25. The extended art copy is sitting at $22.15 for its market price, and its average price is $23.53, and the borderless copy is sitting at $26.08 for its market price, and its average price is $27. 
This card is seeing almost all of its play in the modern format in Bant Nadu decks as well as Amulet Titan and Demir Murktide. However, it's also being played in the Pioneer format in Hidden Strings, Azoria Spirits, and Is It Phoenix decks. Next winner on our list is Springheart Nantuko, and this is the Borderless copy from Modern Horizons 3. This card is up 16.26% from $7.44 to $8.65 for its market price, and its average price is $7. The pre-release copy is sitting at $7.16 for its average price, and the regular copy is sitting at $6.33 for its market price, and its average price is $6.38. This card is seeing a lot of modern play as well in Bant Nadu decks, in the Legacy format it's being played in Blue Zenith, and it's even being played right now in the Commander format in commanders like Nadu Wing Wisdom. Next winner on our list is Tiller Engine, and this is the extended art copy from Commander Dominaria United. This card is up 20.06% today from $6.18 to $7.42 for its market price, and its average price is $6.32. And the regular copy is sitting at $5.41 for its market price, and its average price is $5.67. This card is being played in the Commander format, and the commanders that like this card the most are Yuma Proud Protector, as well as Karametra, God of Harvests. Next winner on our list is Season of the Burrow, and this is the borderless version of this card from Bloomborough. It's up 38.43% from $5.10 to $7.06 for its market price, and its average price is $6.94. And the regular copy is sitting at $6.69 for its market price, and its average price is $6.50. And this card is being played a lot in the standard format in decks like Orzhov Midrange, Azorius Control, as well as Abzan Midrange. However, it's also being played in the Commander format in commanders like Mabel Heir to Cragflame, Miss Bumbleflower, and Balin the Haymaker. Next winner here is Gorman's Talent from Commander Bloomborough. This card is up 40.79% from $3.31 to $4.66 for its market price, and its average price is $6.49. And you can find this card in the Bloomborough Commander deck, Scrolled Away. This card is being played as well in Bloomborough Commanders like Hazel of the Rootbloom and Ygra Eater of All. Next up is Omnibian from Dissension. This rare is up 42.20% today from $2.82 to $4 for its market price, and its average price is $8.31. And the Ravnica Allegiance Guild Kits copy is sitting at $2.21 for its market price, and its average price is $8. Now this card is being used right now in some commanders from Bloomborough like Larb Calamity's Augur, as well as Clement the Worrywart. Next winner on our list is Scavenger's Talent from Bloomborough. 116.43% from $2.13 to $4.61 for its market price, and its average price is $9.19. Now this card is seeing a little bit of standard play in Golgari midrange decks, Jun midrange as well as Saltai midrange. However, it's also being played in the Pioneer format and Jun Sacrifice, but it sees most of its play in the Commander format and commanders like Hazel of the Rootbloom and Ygra Eater of All. And our final winner on our list today is Fountain Port from Bloomborough. And this land is up 160.34% from $1.16 to $3.02 for its market price, and its average price is $2.50. And the extended art copy is sitting at $2.67 for its market price, and its average price is $2.04. Most of its play in the standard format in decks like Boros Token Control, Azorius Control, Golgari Midrange, as well as Orzhov Midrange decks. However, it's also being played in the Pioneer format, in Azorius Control, and in the Commander format, in new commanders like Hazel of the Rootbloom. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Knight Captain of Eos from Shards of Alara. This foils up 27.31% today from $7.80 to $9.93 for its foil market price, and its average price is $9.23. Joriel, Empress of Beasts from Prophecy. This old frame foils up 27.39% from $23.55 to $30 for its foil market price, and its average price is $34.80. Kedis Emberclaw Familiar from Commander Legends. This foil is up 28.87% from $5.82 to $7.50 for its foil market price, and its average price is $5. Marionette Apprentice from Modern Horizons 3. This foil is up 31.76% from $4.03 to $5.31 for its foil market price, and its average price is $3.81. Hammer Mage from Arcadian Mass. This old frame foil is up 33.42% from $3.74 to $5 for its foil market price, and its average price is $6.79. 
Isamaru Hound of Konda from Champions of Kamigawa. This foils at 34.20% from $21.14 to $28.37 for its foil market price, and its average price is $29.40. Turnhipper Basilisk from Zendikar. This foils at 39.36% from $4.70 to $6.55 for its foil market price, and its average price is $1.27. Next foil here is Season of the Burrow from Bloomborough. This foil is up 43.42% from $4.56 to $6.54 for its foil market price, and its average price is $8.36. Fumiko the Low Blood from Betrayers of Kamigawa. This foil is up 58.70% from $15.64 to $24.82 for its foil market price, and its average price is $35.95. Hand of Honor from Saviors of Kamigawa. This foils up 67.08% from $4.04 to $6.75 for its foil market price, and its average price is $7.67. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering market movers. It really, really means a lot to me. If you guys could, could you hit that like button down below so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm so that way my channel can continue to grow on YouTube. Also, let me know in the comment section below what your favorite mover of the day was, which cards you most surprised to see on the list, and which cards you actually own that showed up on the list this week. I do read every single comment that you guys leave, so please leave them there down below for me to read. Also, I make these videos from Monday to Friday, so I will be back again tomorrow for another Magic the Gathering Market Movers, and until then, please enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.